Hey guys, Craig McCormick here from destructivepixels.com and today I am doing an unboxing of a package I have got from Really Right Stuff. I've been waiting to open this for a while. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, for those of you that have seen past videos, I've had a lot of problems with my old original tripod I had. It's a Rolly, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a carbon fiber tripod and I've had lots of problems with the ball head actually falling off and all the rest of it. So I just stopped trusting it in terms of actually putting a camera and lens on it and trying to shoot with it. It just F it just made me really nervous and I've been looking at these two tripods I've got two tripods in here and an L bracket and a little tool which I'll, I'll get into more details in a minute but um I've been looking at these two for a while and after uh just going out and shooting with that tripod and just really just hating it essentially I'll be completely honest I just hated that tripod after a while so I'm like screw it uh, I need new tripods anyway to do a whole bunch of uh, shoots that I've got planned and ideas and I just want to be able to have something I can trust. So uh, the two tripods I've got in here are two of the more famous -y ones that really right stuff do. One is the TQC, is it, let me just have a quick check, yeah, is it, it is the 2QC, TQC14 travel tripod with the BH30 ball head on it and the other one is the TVC33 with the BH55 head. And these are two, they're, they're two um, set tripods that you can just buy. You just, it's a one click thing, it's the full set. Um, the only thing you'll need to do is buy a bracket that fits for your camera, which I've done. That's why I've got an L bracket here for my camera. Uh, I've actually got my camera off here to the side, so I can just double check, make sure it all fits and all the rest of it. But uh, I thought I'd do the unboxing because this is not often I get to open a brand new fun toy like this and film it. So I figured I'd actually do this. Uh, so this is genuinely the first time uh, opening this. I haven't seen anything that's inside it. I've just opened it up just so you don't have to watch me open up a box for 20 seconds. Um, but this is going to be fun. I'm actually looking forward to this. So let's just get cracking into it. Um, okay, so let's just open this up. It is a big box, so I have no idea. Okay, so we've got something here. Oh, this is a ball head. Okay, so they actually come separate. I didn't know that. So I guess the tripod and the ball heads come separate. I thought they'd come attached for some reason, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is pretty heavy. This is the 55, uh, the BH55 ball head, which is the bigger one. It is, a, it's, it is a monster of a ball head. So let's just put that to the side right now. Get some of this loud tissue paper out of the way. Looks like a foam roller or something. Oh no, that might be the tool. That might be the, um, yeah, the multi-tool. Uh, really right stuff through this multi-tool which has all the little tool bits in it that will fit all the different bolt heads in the tripods. Um, apparently you're able to put this inside the center column of one of the tripods but I don't think um, the the TVC33 doesn't have a center column but the TQC yeah the TQC14 does but I don't think it fits this I'm not sure but I'll, I'll check that later. Let's just get this other stuff out the way. Okay what's this? Oh, that's the L bracket, of course. Um, you can get two different types of L brackets. You can get one which just fits your camera um, as standard, or you can get the L bracket which fits the battery grip. Um, there's not a huge price difference. I think it's an extra $30 or $50 maybe, I'm not sure, um, for the one for the battery grip. I nearly bought both, um, but I decided to just go for um, the standard camera one without the battery grip, just the standard Canon 5D3. I think. I'm pretty sure it is because it's not big enough to do the, the battery grip because it's also really tall. Um, but L brackets for anybody that doesn't know when you've got the ball head um, you, you mount your camera rather than a little plate underneath the camera you actually have this connected to the camera so you can put it horizontal or landscape and if you want to throw it to portrait you just throw it and this L bracket lets you do that really quickly rather than twisting the whole ball head and then throwing off the center of balance of the actual tripod. So these are really cool. Um, I'm actually looking forward to playing with this. This, I can't tell if it's plastic or metal. It looks, it looks like plastic. I'm not sure, but um, it, it's meant to be metal, I think. Okay, so this is the other ball head, I guess. Yeah, this is the BH30 uh, tripod for the TQC14. They really need to come up with better names. <laughs> I think they're awful, awful names. Uh, but let's have, okay, let's put that over here for now. Now this one, I think, is the previously mentioned TQC14. Really right stuff tripod. Let's just put that there for now. And this big old mama is the big one. The TVC33. Really nice big tripod. So let me just get this box out of the way here. 
and I guess we'll start opening. What should we do first, the tripods or the ball heads? Let's do the ball heads, because I think that's more fun. Okay, let's do, let's do the BH30. Now, how to open the box. I guess this looks like, yep, there we go. Oh, they come in pouches as well, that's cool. Okay, so your little ball head guide, I guess. Cleaning, general use, key features, all this fun stuff. How to move it, the drop notch, quick release plate crown. Uh, yeah, oh, for those curious, um, they have two different types of clamping mechanism for the ball heads. Uh, they have the screw knob, which um, uh, it's like a little plate and then it moves along with the, the screw top to keep it in. Or you can have a lever release, which is like a handle, which say it's open and then when you close the handle, it shuts it up and then closes the um, the release plate on the ins into the actual tri into the ball head rather. Uh, so I got the, the lever release because I just prefer that kind of action. I don't like the twisty action. So here we go. Let's have a look here. What's this? Okay, so that's okay. So that's a little booklet telling me about the lever, the lever release clamp, and I guess that is my um, little Allen key to fix stuff. So cool little box, nice pouch actually. I never knew they came in pouches. That's uh, still <laughs> with a massive pouch. It's still hard to get out, and this is a tiny little ball head. Oh, these are beautiful little things, aren't they? Let me just move this up to the camera here. There you go. So that is the BH30. Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Smooth action. These are fun to play with. I'm looking forward to playing with these more, but this is an unboxing, so let's just keep going here. Let's just open this up. Get that in. And I'll throw these two things in there. Just for now. Let me just move forward here. Sorry. Let's do the other one here. Let me just move. Sorry, I'm just moving my uh, my laptop here for a minute. <laughs> this is actually looking a little overexposed right now, if I'm totally honest, because I'm looking at. I've got you guys here, but I'm looking at. I've got a camera off screen here. So let me actually just move these tripods out of the way, just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, so this is the BH55. This is the big old ball head. Again, bucket that comes with it. Quite nice. Really big pouch this time. Let's just open this up so I can get it out. Show sure you guys. Wow, this is massive. Whoa, I very nearly swore then. <laughs> Thinking how big this is. Look at that. That's my hand there. And that's just the ball, the ball head there. That's huge. And we've got the Really Right Stuff logo. Go on, focus camera. Focus. Focus. Ah, good enough. You can see it. <laughs> but this is, um, wow. This is really nice. Nicely done. Very nice. Huge, though. Jeez, I never really, I didn't, I'll be completely honest, I didn't expect it to be this big. <laughs> um, but it's cool. I mean, this is meant to be the big master ball head. So I'm looking forward to putting this on TVC33. So let's move over to that then, I guess. So that's the next thing, the next toy to play with. Actually, should I do the 33 or the, the, the travel tripod? Let's do the travel tripod. Let's leave the big, nice one to last. I've got to keep you guys watching the video, I guess. So let's, oh dear, how do I? Oh, this is gonna be an intelligence test. I know it. Ah, that didn't hurt at all. Okay, here we go. Whoa, this is small. Let me, I'm gonna move these, the L plate and the, this is nice. Whoa, okay, so this is zip tied up. Good thing, I've got my little pen knife with me. I'm just gonna open this up. Oh, never mind. I didn't need the pen knife. Just turns out you need intelligence. Let me just pull it open. Okay. 
as I've said a thousand times, this is the uh, TQC 14. Very nice, actually. Let's have a quick look here. So that's its lowest position. That's actually quite good. I'm impressed with that, I'll be honest. I think that's a really nice low position. Let me just move my phone here. Okay, so I'm gonna guess you remove this thing, this little, it's got a little knob, the top of the ball head. Well, not the ball head, the top of the tripod mount. So I guess you then add your ball head. I don't think the, uh, the small travel tripod here, the, the TQC14, can support BH55. I don't think it can actually support the weight of that. Um, but this, um, I remember RC Concepcion saying that the, the, this one here, the, the travel tripod with the BH30, is actually totally fine for 99% of stuff you do. Um, the reason I got the 33 is because for stuff that I'm doing up in Scotland, you need something a lot more sturdy, especially if it's a little windy or anything like that. These are really great just to walk around with because it's super light. I mean, that's the first thing I thought is just, geez, this is incredibly light. I mean, even from holding it right now, it doesn't weigh anything really. I mean, obviously it weighs something, but um, it's really not as bad as you think. And it's a great size, actually. It's if I put it to my fingers, it is perfectly, it is the perfect length of my arm just there. So that is, um, I have no idea on the actual specs and the actual length of this, but this is a great size tripod. Now, of course, that length there doesn't include the ball head. Um, but if, but now that I've actually got this nice little pouch for it, I would probably travel with it separately with the ball head in the pouch just to keep it safe. And especially because you don't want it pulling on anything. I think that's actually one of the reasons probably why I had a lot of trouble with my old Rolly the old tripod. So I guess it's just a matter of trying to screw this on and not looking like an idiot on the internet. There we go. So that is my new day-to-day -day tripod that I'll be using for a lot of shoots. So this is a really nice setup. I'm very happy with this. Uh, this is cool. I'm quite, I'm honest, I'm really stoked. So sorry if I'm just blabbing on at the minute. I'm really just having a look here and just admiring my new toy. Um, I'll tell you what, well, after I've unboxed all these things, uh, I'll open up the legs and we'll do another shot seeing how high these tripods go because obviously, you know, we've got the um, extension legs here. Let me just open these up. Okay, so that opens up. You lock it in. You open this one. Yeah, so we've got these legs here. Obviously, it extends out because it's a tripod. So, uh, yeah, that'll be the next clip we'll do after I've unboxed everything. I'll just see how high they go. I think this one, I think, is about chest level, about here. Um, but when you've got the camera on it, then it's like almost perfect eye height, especially for me, because I'm not super tall. I'm 5'9 or something, 5'10. I'm not super, super tall. So this will be the perfect height for me. So let me... Put this just here for now. I'll put that there. Let me move these guys out of the way. Okay, now I actually need I actually need to make space for this big ass tripod just about to come up. So let's Okay. Now the impressive thing I've found already with this is Although it's a bigger box and it's a bigger tripod, it doesn't feel super heavy. Um, maybe it's because when I compared it to this, this has actually got a center column in it. You can see here, this has actually got a center column. So uh, that does add extra weight. Whereas this one does not have a center column, it just has the home base or whatever you call it. I don't know, I guess it's just the base of the tripod. Ah, okay. Let's see what, these are not, not good for people that don't have fingernails. Okay, so I've got, I'll move this over for you guys so you can kind of see this. I have no idea what this is yet, but it looks like some sort of bag. I have no idea what that is. It may be a bag for the tripod, I guess. Oh, let me just move that. It looks like some sort of bag. It says really right stuff. 
Maybe this is back for the tripod, I don't know. This looks like it's got a lot more stuff in it though. This has got a booklet. Oh, a whole bunch of, important. The leg hinge joints of this really right soft tripod are designed with a custom, customizable tension feature. Okay, so this is all the tension stuff. Okay, so yeah, we've got a whole bunch of things uh, and reading, so I'm not gonna do a, a TLDR. I will actually have to read that outside of this video for now, I guess. This is more just unboxing, show you my fun things. Oh yeah! Look at that. That is some thick ass legs. Okay, again, let me just open this baggie up. <sighs> yeah, oh, uh, move that out of the way. Look at that, that is a monster. Now compared to, let me just take this ball head off again, I guess, so we can do some comparisons. We can do some side by sides with this now. So if, how do I move, how do I do this? <laughs> Let me move these paper things out of the way. Okay, so we've got TVC 33, that fits in frame, just let me move over. So that is the big TVC 33, and this is the TQC 14. That is hilariously different. <laughs> Look at that, that is just so much different. That is, okay, so just so it looks right in frame, this is that length, and I'll hold this directly above it so you can see an accurate representation of size. That is a big difference. This is why this is my everyday tripod because I'm pretty confident in saying this will fit in my backpack, even in my Go Ruck. I think this will fit, even if it's sideways. And I'll probably have to take the ball head off. I don't know, I'll try that out, I'll check it. But uh, this will definitely fit in my bag. This 150% will not because I don't carry a suitcase with me everywhere I go. <laughs> but this is definitely something that I want for up in Scotland. Well, it's just, yeah, okay, it's, still just, it's just hairy dust from the carpet. I thought I might have scratches on it there for a second. I panicked. Um, but look how thick these legs are. It's huge. So let's, this is the lowest level for the 33. Hopefully that can fit in frame. So when I'm squatting down, this is eye level for me. So that's pretty good. That's pretty boss. Let's unscrew this. Put that little nut over there. And I'll take the BH55. And let's just attach this on. Come on. Don't fail me now. That is... Bitchin! That is pretty sick. I'm so stoked on this. Okay, so this is the main tension knob, I guess. So this thing controls how firm this is. And this is actually meant to be really nice and accurate, and I have to say it is. Um, you can undo it, and it's just super loosey-goosey. And then as soon as you start tightening it up, it's a little stiffer. You can just see it's more finesse -y. And then super tight in it and it's just not going anywhere. I mean, even there, that's not going anywhere and you still have more tension in that. I'm really happy. I have a feeling this, this knob here is for the rotation. Let's just have a quick play. Yeah, that's for the rotation on it. So actually, that helps just to tighten it up and then you can definitely make sure this ball head is tied on there. Ugh, okay, that's pretty good. And then... All right, so that's pretty sick. I'm happy with this. This looks really quite nice. I'm, I couldn't be happier, I've gotta be honest. Um, I know I paid a lot for this because for any UK people out there, um, they don't have any UK distribution at all. They have two people that sell from Europe. Uh, I think they're both in Germany, from what I can tell. But the problem is, is that the cost for, to buy them from Germany in euros to get them over here. Actually, just simply the cost to buy them from Germany in euros converted over to pounds is uh, a lot more, like 200 pounds more than if you were to buy them directly from really right stuff and pay the shipping and the tax. Um, 
let's put it this way, I paid just short of £400 in tax. So, uh, and if, if you, you know what the tax rate here in the UK is of 20%, you can pretty much figure out how much I paid for these tripods and, and all the little tools here, which I will get to, I kind of keep forgetting. So uh, yeah, it's not cheap, this stuff. Um, actually, I do have the invoice here just to my right. That's why I keep, if I do look over here and you're wondering what I'm doing, it's because I'm actually looking at the invoice. Um, I don't know, it doesn't actually say, it doesn't state the individual price and I'm quite happy with that because I would be um, very sad otherwise because I'd be reminded how much money I spent. But uh, okay, I'm still recording. I'm just double checking here. <laughs> so let's remove this ball head here, which is now going to be more of an issue than I initially thought because I tightened it up to death. Oh, this is really, this is going to look good on video. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, so let's put that back in the pouch. Okay, so before we do the, um, the leg test, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's weird. That is very strange, I've got to be honest. Um, these legs, right? So you can see here, I'll move this leg here, this one here. So you can see this is the base plate here, and it moves more than its standard stop space. That's weird. I'll be honest, I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, so I guess you just gotta be really push them inwards all at the same time, I guess. Okay, so let's very quickly go through here. This is the uh, L plate for the Canon 5D3. Zippy, ziplock. How the hell do you get this in? It's like an L-shaped ziplock. <laughs> okay, so it's me it is metal. Yeah, I thought it would be metal. I couldn't figure out why it would be um, why it would be plastic. Now, this does it say it's BSD3VA plate ID? Okay, so it must have a plate ID then. Oh, B5D3. L A. That looks like a V A, but I guess that's probably what this means. Okay, so that each plate must have a specific ID. Or oh, maybe that's the bracket five D three L. Ah, so that's what it'd be a bracket for the five D three L bracket or L, and then, then there's an A. So maybe that's type A for just the normal one, and then there's the battery grip one, which is bigger. Um, shall I try? Let's try putting this on the camera quite quickly here. Wow, I've got a sec. So I've got my original plate here from my Capture Pro, which will be coming off, I guess. Um, just start to kind of see it go right now because I am enjoying the Capture Plate still, but I want to try this out for a minute. So I guess this goes here, right? Okay, so this actually locks in quite well. It actually rests um, just underneath where the um, camera strap would go. Oh, it's already actually trying to tie itself in. So where the bag strap goes, this just locks in there. And then you can still have access to all your ports and stuff on the side of the camera. So let me pull up my screwdriver. Let's get rid of the blade. Pull up my screwdriver. Oh, it's an Allen key, because I'm an idiot. That's why I wondered why there was an Allen key in here. Okay, so it looks like it'll fit. I'm not gonna try and attach it now, just so I don't bore you anymore, so we can actually get to the fun stuff of looking how tall the tripods get. But it looks like it fits, so I'm happy about that. Let me move this here, move these guys. Wait, did I move the, yeah, that's that there. Spur that there. Now this is the, um, the multi-tool. I'm pretty sure this won't fit inside that center column, but might as well check. Okay, just open up the blade here again. It's a... Wow, good knife skills. So basically the reason I got this is because, as you can see, you've already seen a whole bunch of Allen keys, at least half a dozen different Allen keys of different sizes. 
Whereas this actually has all of their tools you'll ever need in one nice little tool. Uh, the only problem is I don't know how to open it. I'll be honest. Do I just pull this or do I? I'm gonna have to use my teeth, aren't I? Oh, I really don't wanna use my teeth. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Uh, uh, I'm feeling flummoxed. That's not tied in, is it? No. Oh, okay, right, so you must just be able to pull it off. Ah, that doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't know. Ugh, come on. Ah, oh, this sucks. This, this is just, it's not nerve-wracking at all. Doing this on video for the first time. Ugh. I look like such a weakling. I swear I work out, I promise. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Okay, so let's, there you go. When in doubt, use a knife. That's opening up, there we go. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Nice metal housing here on the end. So <laughs> immediately, I open it, because that's how you break things. Looks like there's something in here. Oh, no way! That's sick! Oh, so that's where they hold all the... So there you go, so this goes inside the... Uh, that's the... There must be a head at the end. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So that's instructions. Whoa, what's this? It's another little tool set? Wow, that's... Okay, but that doesn't really go well with this. Maybe this is for a different... Maybe this is if you've got a certain set of tripods or something. That's cool. Ah, so that actually screw is meant to screw in to there. Okay, so this is cool, right? So this goes in the end here, the actual handle, and this has got all your little bits in it. That's really cool. And it's, n it's a really nice, good quality metal, actually. Um, so that will not be breaking anytime soon. But let's have a quick look here. Let's, let's open this up and see if it actually will fit inside the base here. Might as well, while I'm here. This is incredibly messy right now. Um, bits are all over the place, so please excuse me. I think, because this is the center column here, the little travel tripod, and this is the hook where you can actually hook a backpack and stuff to, which I will be doing for sure. I've actually bought a whole new set of clips so I can attach my, my bag. But I guess if I just keep turning this, yep, yeah, this is threaded, so it will just come out. There we go, that's nice. There's this. I don't think that goes in. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> uh, this looks like that goes in there though. Oh, that's so sick. I know, I'm just nerding out. Oh, okay, but that doesn't, no. Okay, I got it way too excited then for a second. So this clearly will actually tie in. This goes in there quite well. But the handle, itself, the actual screwdriver does not go in there at all. So this must be like a standard piece that goes inside their console. Actually, but that doesn't make sense because that fits the width or the diameter, if you want to be technical, the diameter of this um, center column. But yet yeah, this fits on that. So the beauty of doing a video for the first time and not knowing anything is I don't actually know. What to do here. And I don't think by taking this out it's going to make it any easier because the handle for the screwdriver is fatter. Yeah, actually, that is the same diameter, pretty much. Maybe a mil off or so. But... Okay, so that doesn't go in there. That is disappointing. I'll be honest, that is a bit sad for me. Although, if I'm looking at this, that, you know what? No, that doesn't make sense at all. But the end of this red metal thing... I don't know if you can see that on video. Let me just have a quick. That's actually threaded on the inside. Come on, the camera's not going to focus, is it? Because it's a pain in the butt. Focus. Okay. 
Take my word for it, the inside of that handle is threaded. <laughs> damn you, camera. And I think that is the same damn answer there. It is. So. So what does this mean? I have no idea. I pr probably read the instructions on this, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so let's put this away before I hurt myself. And put this here and tidy this away. That's cool that this comes off so quickly and easily. I did read somewhere that you can actually remove this center column from the, uh, from the TQC14. I read somewhere on their website you could actually remove this if you want, and there's instructions how. Um, will I remove it? Possibly, but I actually kind of like having the ability to raise it just in case. I know that makes it a little bit less stable. Um, let me play around and see what I think. But for the most part, I'll probably just leave it in, simply because I then have the hook. Although there's probably a way to add the hook in at the bottom here. Also actually says at the bottom there, TQC14, made in USA. Yeah, they're all made in uh, West Coast, I think, actually. Okay, so that is all the toys. Let's do, excuse me, I totally didn't burp then. Let's do a jump cut to see how uh, tall these tripod legs are, uh, see how high they go, and then I'll attach the bullheads on there, and then we'll be good to go. So, jump cut! There you go. So, okay, so I've got my two tripods here, just below my legs here, out of shot. Uh, let's start with the nice little travel tripod here, the TQC14, which I'm going to say until everybody remembers it. So let's start off with the legs. Attach this leg here. This leg here, and this bit here. This is already looking pretty tall, I've got to be honest. This is actually getting out of frame almost now, right now. Okay. One thing uh, I'm going to say is these are actually fairly stiff. It might just be because they're new, but it's actually, I'm really loosening these up, and it's still quite stiff to uh, get the legs out. So that's kind of a surprise to me. Jeez, this is really, this is taller than I actually thought it would be. I'll be honest, I didn't think it'd be this tall. And I'm now putting that into my crotch. So let's get that out of the way, tighten this guy up. I'm actually impressed by how thick the, um, the grips are when you're tightening and untightening the legs. He's actually quite nice, um, but strong and thick and a bit sore on the hands actually. This rubber is it's pretty solid rubber, but um, it probably just needs getting used to, you know, and getting worn in a little bit, I guess. Um, okay, so let me just move my... Oh, I can't actually move this cushion back any further. I'll move the tripod forward. Okay, so I, my head is now out of shot. So that is the ball head there. So this is not... I actually, for some reason, thought this was eye level. Um, I guess if I open up the center column here, not that this is going to be any useful for you guys at home, because... Uh, now the <laughs> okay so i'm standing and this is at chest height so this is probably almost perfect for a lot of shots but if i pull the center column up out of frame so i'm sorry you guys can't see this right now um actually you know what let me just move i'll go ahead because actually this is now perfectly eye level the base of this plate is like at the top of my lip so let me go ahead and move you guys this is going to be really good video there we go so you can now look at my ceiling Look at that. So this is actually my head, my face, my lip right there. So if I go grab my camera very quickly, it has no plate on it and I haven't attached it either because I was an idiot. But that is perfectly, that is so awesome. The fact that when I'm standing here, the eyepiece is perfectly at my eye. That is great, I'm happy with this. Although saying that, I would never actually shoot with the center comp because you can see even it just shaky so i would always <laughs> whoops didn't mean to do that this is just a more stable platform just to shoot from here and actually that's not bad at all you can probably do yeah live live view you'd be great with that okay so let's um i'll leave this frame as it is i guess because i can just stand up and do the i have a feeling this next one will be a lot taller so let me just move this move this tripod out of the way so we've got the 33 TVC. This is a monster. Now, okay, so actually that's a three column tripod. You saw me pulling out two, uh, three of these twisty things to extend the legs. This has only got two. Um, 
Is that what that's called? Is that a three? Yeah, that must be three columns. That's technically four because it's four legs and this is a three column. Yeah, so that's a four column. I think, yeah, it lists, lists on the website the, the TQC14 is a four column tripod because it's got four leg parts. Whereas this has got three, so this is a three part. Okay, so this is already looking pretty good. That's got a nice little spirit level here on the back. Let me move it over here. Yeah, okay, so that's actually right in my, my groin, so I'll not do that just yet. Let me, oh, these are stiff, I'll be honest. I guess they'll just get a little more comfortable with time, but it's tough. So that's, there we go. That's that one. Okay. Whoa, so this is already face level. So if I get my BH55, lock that in. Okay, yeah, that is, okay, so it must have been this one I was thinking where it's eye level. That, yeah, that's almost stupid to think that that travel tripod here was gonna be at eye level. But yeah, look at that. So this is dead on that. This is actually probably above eye level when I add my camera to it. Um, yeah, I'm almost dead certain of that. Yeah, it's actually, I'll have to kind of poke up a little bit just to see through the eyepiece, but that is good. So we are good to go, I think. That's pretty much it for this unboxing video. Um, this was really fun. I'm so happy with all this stuff. Um, I'm really happy with my order from Really Right Stuff. Um, yeah, this is cool. Um, yeah, I'm terrible at ending videos here. <laughs> so that's, uh, I guess this is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing video. I think this has been of a long one. So if you're here at the end, thanks very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I've been Graham McCormick and I'll catch you guys next time.